Here's your 41 Now update, sponsored by Kansas City Regional Association of Realtors. I'm Dia Wall. Here are your top stories from 41 Action News. A missing two-year-old girl with Kansas City Connections is believed to have been found dead. Nolani Robinson disappeared Monday after her mother, Sierra, was killed in Milwaukee. Authorities issued an Amber Alert on Monday night. 41 Action News talked to the girl's grandfather, who lives here in the metro. Investigators arrested the father as a suspect in the case. They believe they found Nolani's body south of Minneapolis. Authorities are waiting on formal identification. As the Missouri River continues to rise, flooding could leave severe damage in the St. Joseph area. Part of I-29 is shut down near the Missouri-Iowa border. Water rescue teams will be on standby as flooding there continues. The Missouri River could reach levels not seen in decades over the coming days. The United Way is asking volunteers to join the sandbagging effort in St. Joe. The staging location at 6th and Atchison is accepting them. Volunteers have to be 18 years or older. You have to wear closed-toed shoes and gloves and be able to lift up to 40 pounds. Crews will be working from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow. Gerard Bailey has your forecast after this. Are you getting ready to sell your house? Did you know a realtor can provide an objective point of view on what repairs need to take place before you sell to get the best price? Visit KCRAR.com to find a realtor near you. I'm meteorologist Gerard Bailey. It's looking like we are going to continue the spectacular weather through the rest of your weekend. Temperatures this evening dropping down to the mid 50s. We'll have a gorgeous sunset as uh, we're going to see our temperatures slowly cool down. We'll be in the 40s by 10 o'clock overnight dropping to low 30s, perhaps some upper 20s. But Sunday will already have lots of sunshine once again and warming back up to the 50s. So another spectacular day. We even get to continue this nice weather into Monday. Three day stretch of it. So hopefully you're all in enjoying it with highs still once again in the 50s. Your St. Patrick's Day forecast with all the other events we have going on again 9 a.m. Lots of sunshine warming up out of the 30s to the low 50s going to be a spectacular end to a very uh, busy but festive weekend. Remember to get all your latest news and weather updates anytime on KSHP.com. Cutting the cable cord? 41 Action News is now on Roku. Search KSHB, add our channel, and you're set. All of our newscasts stream live. No other station in Kansas City can say that. Get clear, complete coverage on 41 Action News now on Roku.